Deforestation is the cutting down and permanent removal of trees for grazing space for animals and growing crops, and the use of the land for other things like housing and roads. The cutting down of trees is not always managed in a sustainable way, because hardwoods take a long time to grow and so they are not replaced effectively. The term slash and burn is the process of turning untouched forest into farmland. The trees are cut down and set alight. This leads to dense smoke which covers a large area and can be seen from space. A large amount of carbon is released through this process. The timber may be used for fuel, construction or timber and paper-based products. Deforestation has many negative effects, such as the loss of habitats for wildlife and the possible extinction of some animals and the displacement of some indigenous human populations, the loss of trees that take carbon out of the atmosphere, and the washing away of fertile soil through a process called erosion. Designers can rethink the way they source and use materials. The FSC, or Forestry Stewardship Council, certifies or makes sure that materials are sourced from sustainably managed forests. This involves managing forests by choosing to cut down a set number of trees each year and replacing them with new trees through replanting. This creates a cycle of productivity that doesn't harm the forest environment. Environmental Factors All products affect the environment to some degree. The use of finite resources, energy use and disposal of the product at the end of life cycle. Using materials efficiently means less waste is sent to landfill leading to less impact on the environment. Using recycled and biodegradable materials will have fewer negative effects of the environment than materials that take a long time to break down in landfill. Designing products for recycling and reusing while reducing environmental impact. Social factors are issues that affect the lifestyle of consumers such as wealth, gender, family and religion. These can change over time and designers need to be aware of these changes in order to make sure that products meet the changing needs of consumers. Designers need to know where materials and components come from, and where they were sourced. Once this is established, they can be sold as ethically sourced and produced goods. Global warming is the increase in the average temperature of the Earth's atmosphere and oceans, which has been rising over recent years. The collection of carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases in the atmosphere is the main driver of global warming. The gases absorb the sunlight reflecting off the Earth's surface and trap heat which is unable to escape. This heats up the Earth, causing the greenhouse effect. CO2 has increased because of the burning of fossil fuels, which is released during the process. Human activity when using transport Land clearing and agriculture are major contributors to the phenomenon of global warming. Global warming is affecting weather systems and patterns including sea levels as the polar ice caps melt. This causes flooding in some parts of the world and the lack of water in others. Designers must try to reduce or eliminate the negative impact that their product has on the environment. The Fairtrade Trust aims to help small-scale producers farmers and workers in developing countries to get a fair price and better working conditions. The movement helps coffee, cotton, bananas and other products produced by farmers and producers to avoid exploitation. The fair trade mark shows that a product meets fair trade social, economic and environmental standards. The standards include a fair trade premium which is invested in local education and healthcare. Consumers like to buy fair trade products because it fits their ethical values and principles. Designers may choose to use materials from fair trade sources. There are disadvantages because fair trade products are usually more expensive because of the extra profit paid to producers. The supply of the product may not be as reliable due to the small scale production of fair trade producers. Furthermore, the transportation costs and carbon footprint will have to be considered by the designer.